the Alamo Hall Good at making something to do out of nothing at all We chase white tail bucks, catch a few channel cats Lord knows it don't get no better than that That's just a day in the life on the Alamo Hall, yeah Hey, welcome to this week's Alamaha River Sportsman. We're gonna go kill a turkey. I got a buddy of mine up in Reesville, not far from the river. Got a piece of property that's been allowed to hunt. The only catch is we gotta kill a hog to, or help catch a hog later on in the day, but you'll get to see that too. So y'all hang around, watch what's fixing to happen. Fixing to go after a few gobblers right here on the farm. We go in, we slip in this thing, and there's a field. They got grass in there, they got rye in there during the season. Right now it's grown up in just uh, whatever's there. We think they're gonna come down this side beside us. Watch what happens. You can tell it's getting a little bit of light. We're hearing these turkeys and they're coming around behind us. We thought they're gonna come down this side. They come around behind us. We can hear them. We can hear them starting to drum in the, in the road. They're walking the same road that we walked in on. We might've walked in under them, we don't know. But uh, it's fixing to get excited. You're fixing to get a good look at these birds. There's three of them. Pretty exciting hunt when you see three gobblers come in. One of them walks off, two of them comes in, tears your decoys up, goes in there, smokes to Jake, jumps all over the hen, which you can barely see, but there's a lay down hen in there.
and they're just pounding it and pounding it and pounding it. Finally, they figured something was up. One gun, two birds. Yep. I'm filming. Dodd says they're coming behind us. So when it did, I just swung the camera around. And I just put my top over, and they come walking by. It can't be eight or 10 yards. So I don't know what we got on that. But when they walked behind that tree, son, they was heading toward this thing. And there was another one back there just uh, telling them, don't go, don't go, don't go. <laughs> And man, they hammered that hen. One of them took turns on the hen and the other was pounding the jake. And we sat there and Don sat there and waited and waited and waited. He killed that bird. When he killed that bird, he said, I could see it in his eyes. He was fixing to shoot that other one. It went click. You was lucky I was trying to get them both in one shot. It went shot. click. He forgot to shuck it, I believe. I shoved it, but it just didn't have one in it. He didn't, he didn't shut, he, it didn't get shut. So he was fixing to throw up. I said, give me that gun. And so he handed me the gun and I got to kill one. Man. Now, if that ain't cool, I don't know what cool that is. is cool. I'm gonna tell you what, man. The beautiful part about this is that uh, it happened on a fantastic day in my life. It happened with a great friend of mine and we got it on film. That was a really good hunt, really exciting. And I'm glad to be able to share it with uh, Don. It was awesome. Hey, look at this right here. It's where he's been dusting. Yeah. He's been sitting there. We come to his, we come to his house, didn't we? Yeah. And he was pissed off about it. Well, folks, it don't get no better than this. All right, you saw that. Now we got to go do what got us the opportunity to come do this with the turkeys. And that is we gotta go get a hog. This hog's in a pen, but it's time to move him out. And so we're gonna go over and catch this hog, tie him up, put him up. I'm not gonna do the tying. I'm not going to do the catching. We got dogs and we got some guys that are going to do that. But I will be doing some of the filming. Hang around next on Audemars River Sports and we're going to go catch this pig. They done got him pinned up in this pile of trees. They got this pig about cornered up. He keeps evading them, getting in this pile of stuff. They're looking for a red pig. There you go.
Hey, we chased him. We chased him. You see the red pig. You see the black pig. And we got him on the run. We're fixing to get to him. Watch what happens right here. I take a couple places out of that river. What it looks like the trees are growing hair. Right there, you see where the hogs rubbing. Get some of that mud and come out here and rub. Where's he at? He's right here in that tree. Oh, I ain't got him caught. Look at that hog. He's right here in front of that dog. Oh, yeah. He's running up there. Stand on it. You good. You good. Who's bowed off his hat? Just the dog just starting. I got you. I got I got you. 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 I got I need to go get the full wheel. Yeah, I need to go get the full wheel. Yeah, right, right, right Alright. <laughs> Take dogs down there, we'll get them some water. pig we turned the red pig loose we want the black pig so we got the black pig we got him tied up we got him in the crate he was getting a little hot so we took him down and cooled him off so he'd be all right y'all don't worry pig is fine i hope y'all enjoyed that that's pretty exciting stuff these pigs these guys love it they love getting in there with them they love getting their hands on them and these pigs can be a problem in areas and so you don't want to move them a lot these guys keep them in pens to train their dogs i hope you enjoyed this episode of autumn hall river sportsman hang on we fixed to put something else in front of you another turkey don had been watching these turkeys in this field for about a week and after the hog hunt, we went over and took a look, and there they were. Well, we said we'll come back. They've been there every afternoon, so we said we'll come back next afternoon. That's what we did. I can see them now. They come in here. Before it's over, they come in here. And you talk about the wind blowing, blowing 35 or 40 miles an hour. They're on the exact opposite side of the field from where we thought they were, from where we could set up. 
So we just go with it. And we said, hey, we'll sit there and watch them. And we did watch them. And we watched them. And we watched them. And we watched them. If we put all the footage down that we would watched them and filmed, this thing will be two hours long. So if you see it chopped up, that's why. They coming. They're almost here. They're coming right to us. The wind's blowing. The trees are in our way. I apologize for the footage, but I gotta show you what happens right here. We slid out and put a fan out, old broke neck what I call it, because it ain't nothing but a head glued to a, a, a old fan that I had, and put it out. And we figured maybe if they get to the right place, they can't hear us calling really. If they get to the right place, we figured they might see this, it's starting to work, and here they come. I can't wait. How about that? They came all the way across the field. They kept started coming and they kept coming. And when they saw that fan, they came right to it. Now my buddy, he lit them up. Not one, two. He's tagged out. One shot. They came all the way across the field. That's two fine birds, I'll tell you what. We watched them come all the way across the field, didn't we, Don? I thought they would never come. I've been watching these birds for a week, waiting on cricket. Me and Gavin came last Sunday morning. They came up to about 80 yards and wouldn't come in. And yesterday I came and watched them in this field to dark. And we picked out a spot, slipped up here with the wind, put our decoys up. They finally came to us about an hour later. That's cool. It was a good hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for the kill shot. A little shaky. We couldn't couldn't get to it because of the wind. But I really hope you enjoyed this. It was a fun hunt and it lasted for about an hour and it was nothing but fun. We could talk like this back and forth. They couldn't hear us, they couldn't hear us calling. That's it. That's this Automaha River Sportsman for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. 
We'll see you next week right here on WSAB. We appreciate you being here and go see all our sponsors. They couldn't do it without them and we surely appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. All of my home river sportsmen. Follow me down to the river. You come on What do you think they know about that old Autumn Hall, Lance? Oh, we didn't tell them all we know, brother.